would be here. He works here, doesn't he? Um, they what? Uh, they don't know yet. Lou Jack's only told me. Lou Jack? Lou Jack is a baron? Well, not exactly, but he is a Spalding. A Spalding? I can't believe it. Not Lou. Lou Jack is your son? He. He was born to you. Yes, yes, he was. You see, Beth, I'm trying to keep communication going between my son and me. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I, but as a matter of fact, if you're looking for him, I could probably help you find him. Boy, where? Well, he's probably hanging out with his gang, the Galahads. Did you ever meet them? No. Oh, well, you'll love them. They're a great bunch, great kids, fine personalities, very articulate. Boyd, will you stop? Where does this gang hang out? Uh, they have a place down by the river. I look for him there. Oh, Baroness, you can't. Yeah, really, she's right. You can't go down there by yourself. Uh, it's, it could be dangerous. Nonsense. It is. Besides, if you invade Lou Jack in his private place, it'll just make things worse between you. Oh, Perhaps you're right, but we're going to have to face each other on our own territory eventually if we're ever going to really know each other. What makes you think I want to know you at all? You want to know me because I'm your mother. Don't turn your back on me. Did you hear what I said? What are you afraid of? I ain't afraid of nothing. I just ain't interested in what you got to say. Oh, listen to me, Brandon, please. Look, I know I haven't handled this well. I've, I've spent 16 years searching for my son. And in the excitement of finding him, I didn't stop to think that he would, of course, have a life of his own, one I knew nothing about. Look at you. You're almost a man. I am a man. And I don't need a mother. I don't want a mother. Not now. Didn't you ever wonder about me? Nah. My old man told me everything I needed to know. My mother walked. That was a lie. Surely you realize that now. Well, that's what you say. Anyway, so what? What does it change, huh? Look, the way I see it, lady, you're this rich lady come walking into my life trying to buy me off. But you're going to be real surprised because I ain't interested in your money. Oh, Eric raised you well. You're your father's son, all right. You, you look like him. You talk like him. I'd rather talk like a Luvanacek than a Spalding any day. You don't know anything about the oh, Spalding. Oh, yeah? I know Philip, and I know what he did to Beth. You're very fond of the Reigns girl, aren't you? Hey, my feelings are my feelings. They're not for strangers. Ah, there. Now, that is a Spalding trait. I don't share my feelings with strangers either. But you're my son, and I intend to love you whether you want me to or not. Hey, cut the baloney. You don't love me. You don't even know me. You're right. I don't know you. And to be honest, after our first meeting, I wasn't at all sure I even wanted to know you. Let's face it, this is not a match made in heaven. Yeah. I bet it was a real shock when you opened that door and saw me standing there, huh? I did have in mind a slightly different image of my son. Tall, perhaps blonde, aristocratic. See, now that sounds like Philip. Yes. I was a fool. Dreaming about my imaginary son, I left his father out of the equation. How did you ever get mixed up with my old man anyway? Simple. Opposites attract. You love him? Passionately. More than any man I've ever known. Before or since. And I remember when I was young, some of the acceptable men my father used to try to set me up with Real turkeys, huh? The worst. <laughs> Which is why it was so stupid of me to expect my son to be like one of them. Please. Take a chance. Have lunch with me on Thursday. Where? At my home. Oh, man, no way. The cops have booked me for breaking and entering. I don't buy your tough guy act. Hey! This ain't no act. This is me. Oh, that's not true. I recognize a defense mechanism when I see one. Look, you still don't get it, do you? 
You don't belong in my world, and I don't belong in yours. The gap between us isn't as wide as you think. Oh, we have to make certain adjustments. That's true, but... Oh, it is worth the effort. Please. It means so much to me. I'll expect you at one o'clock on Thursday. I won't be there. Well, if you're not, you may be turning down a very interesting life. Aya, are you upset about your talk with your mother? What's it to you? I care about you. Yeah, sure. Too bad you care about Philip more. Can't you leave Philip out of this? Hey, you're the one that's always thinking about him. Look, why don't you just go after him, huh? You know he's going to be breaking up with baby cake soon, right? What's your problem? You want to know what my problem is? I'm sick and tired of playing backup for you while you wait for Spaulding to make up his mind. I'm not waiting for Philip. I have my own life. And I make my own decisions. Right. Believe what you want. Okay. Then how come you keep pulling back from me? Back? Yeah. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Hey, Jack. You're my friend. We have a good time together, and that's all. No, Beth. That's not all. You want my body. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> all right, all right, but listen. We're more than friends, Beth. You are attracted to me. Maybe in a way. Oh, yeah? Which way? This way? <laughs> Come on, listen. You know it, man. You like me. All right, I like you. But I'm definitely not in love with you. Hey, sweetheart. There are all kinds of love. Someday you're going to realize that. But you got to stop comparing everything to Spaulding. When he's like this, this fantasy of yours. I ain't, Beth. I'm real. You're not real. I'm not? No, you're not. You're always pretending. You don't know who you are. You charged by the hour here? You act like a tough guy. Blue Jack, the big street fighter. But you're really a spoiler. Only you're afraid to admit it. I ain't afraid of nothing. Prove it. How? All right, I got it. I'll prove it to you. My mother wants me to come up on the hill on Thursday for lunch. Come with me and watch me handle the old lady. Sure, okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Great! Hey, look, stick with me, sweetheart, and you'll see what a real Spalding's made of.